Right, year 11. So this is your last uh, revision case study uh, video I'm going to make for paper two, uh, and it's on resources. First thing for you to know about resources is it's the smallest unit of paper three. It's, um, it's the last section of it, and it never, ever has a nine mark question. OK, again, it's as well as although it's the smallest section, never has a nine marker. It's also also the most confusing because you end up having to do, there's a section on the world uh, resources, which is this one there. There's a section about UK food, energy and water, which everyone in the country does. And then every school will choose to teach either food, water or energy. And in the case of red and green, we do energy. And this is what I'm going to cover in this video. OK, so if you were to do, um, uh, if we were to go through the key study and knowledge you need to know, uh, the f main thing you need to know is that um, resources are required for life. Simple as that. The main resources in the world are food, energy and water, and we need them for development. Uh, our population has gone from eight, seven billion in 2019 to um, 8 billion as of 2023 we expect to go to 9 billion by 2050 the more people there are the more demand there is okay as uh, lic's and ne's develop they're going to need more and more resources and obviously as our technology improves uh, we also often need more resources so on the whole we tend to have a high demand than we have a sort of supply in some ways okay um food wise in the uk we've got a growing demand for food um we have uh the uk imports 40 percent of its food so we've got uh, we're food insecure if that makes sense we need to bring food from other other parts of the world which leads to carbon footprint and co2 emissions um the impact on that is that it imports um the import support workers with low income in low income countries who pay taxes to fund local services however left uh, less land was left for local production in lic's um and most of the food they grow doesn't actually benefit them it comes straight to the uk we are also dependent on weather events elsewhere okay um things the uk has done in in the food industry is agribusiness and um Large-scale farming to maximise efficiency, produce a huge amount of uh, of um, of resources, but it's a low employment rate and it uses a lot of chemicals and pesticides. We also have sustainable foods. There's a move towards organic, uh, low-carbon impact, healthier for the environment. The best example of, is Riverford, a farm in Devon that produces uh, boxes of fruit and veg it can deliver to people's houses. Um, that's for the f UK's food consumption. Our choice of food has changed over time as we eat more and more um, food from further afield okay uh, but there is a tendency to go back to um, basics and back to what we do best in the UK energy wise we've got a growing demand for energy too because we've got a growing population um, and we also have um, we've got a growing demand but our, our, our consumption has declined if that makes sense compared to how it's been during the industrial time but since that decline it's gone back up as the population grows energy mix of the uk um we have a it's a quite a wide range of energy uh the goal is to have 15 percent of renewables by 2020 um and that has been achieved easily um changing economic mix of the uk um we've used about two three quarters of our uh, oil and gas supply in the uk therefore um we've stopped actually pretty much stopped using coal last coal mine closed in 2006 when the uk is dependent on imports as a result because we're running out of fossil fuels okay but the uk is incredibly good at renewables we invest we've invested loads in um, low carbon alternatives we've been leading the way at cop 21 in paris in 2015 we've been using solar uh, wind hydroelectric uh, energy incredibly well uh, we're one of the leading countries for offshore wind farms however they are expensive. They can be unreliable if there's no wind or no sunshine. OK, what we have done is we've also um, pushed the use of nuclear with, with Hinkley Point C, uh, which is a nuclear power plant being built by EDF, a French company uh, and is Chinese owned in North Somerset. OK, the issue with nuclear is that it's reliable. Uh, a good thing is reliable, but the issue is its safety and costs are quite high. OK, from a water point of view. Uh, we've got a growing demand for water. It's increased by about seventy percent in um, in the over the last few years. Uh, due to the growing population, water intensive appliances uh, are, are just are the way we live. Um, most of our the, that causes domestic. There's a, a big issue in the UK whereby there's a surplus of water in northwest of the UK and Scotland, but there's not very people, so you've got a water surplus over there, and you've got a water deficit in southeast where it's dry, and you've got loads of people in southeast. Okay, the problem, um, what, one of the problems of water pollution is caused by chemical runoff, oil spills, untreated water, uh, water sewage, etc. Uh, that's been highlighted recently with as more sewage being um, dumped into the sea by water companies in the UK. Um, and from a management point of view. The UK has implemented strict house pipe bans. They've improved education. They've improved the waste treatment facilities, uh, improved water transfer schemes to move water from surplus areas to deficit areas. It's expensive and requires a lot of energy is the downside of it.